win for the Hillers. Scoreless between the ninth seeded Hillers and the sixth seeded Notre Dame of Hingham Cougars. Tom Nappy, Mike Terosian on the call. Has broke on the entry. Mike also running camera on this beautiful afternoon. Here comes the Hillers, an opportunity here. Shot to the left and that's in! Go Hopkinton, Allie Bird! It comes with 14.54 left to go in the first half. And the Hillers, they have the lead. Allie Bird strikes again. She had the only goal in the win against Medway and she gets one here. On Monday, November 12th, another great defensive effort by the Hillers girls soccer team led to a sectional finals victory over Notre Dame of Hingham by a final of one to nothing. Your Hopkinton Hillers girls soccer team is the South sectional champions and the win earned them a trip to the state championship at Severian High School on Saturday, November 17th. The Hillers will battle North champion Winchester in the state finals. The game time is scheduled for a 12.30 p.m. start. The Hillers are 4-0 in the postseason and have outscored their opponents 5-0 in the playoffs. That's right, the Hillers have not allowed a goal all throughout the postseason. Out of 22 games the Hillers have played this season, they shut out their opponents in 17 of them and have allowed only seven goals all season long. The last goal the Hillers let up was all the way back on October 15th. Truly amazing defense. Head coach Wayne Sygrove is in his first season at the helm for the Hillers and is excited about advancing to the state finals. So first off, a big day for a couple of uh, your players today. Uh, you had uh, Natalie Calkins, Gabby uh, Welding signing uh, the letters of intent. Uh, can you talk about what it's been like to coach those two? Yeah, it's been fantastic. Uh, two senior, two captains. Uh, Natalie's out, been our goalkeeper, outstanding. She was just voted our unsung hero of the year. Um, only conceded seven goals all season, zero goals in the tournament. She's been a rock back there for us. Really happy that she's uh, carrying on her athletic career um, at Merrimack College, great school. Um, although she's not playing soccer, she's going to be playing lacrosse. Um, she's got a bright future ahead of her. Um, and same for Gabby, she's been outstanding. Voted a TVL All-Star, great leader, scored some vital goals for the girls. Um, and she's moving on to, to UMass Lowell to carry on her soccer career. So they have a bright future ahead of them. Coach, and this is your first year coaching uh, girls soccer, but the team just seems to be get better every single game and they've pitched shutouts throughout the uh, postseason. What's it been like to coach this group? It's been fantastic. It's been a great ride. We uh, obviously new season, uh, so a few bumps in the road early on, getting to know the girls, uh, new system, uh, new environment, new culture, new mentality, but the girls have really bought into the process. They've got better each and every game as the season's gone along. Uh, they've grown in confidence, they believe in each other, um, and to win their first tournament final uh, my first season is fantastic and hopefully we can uh, finish off and win the state finals this Saturday. And how excited is the team to be heading to the state finals? Oh, they're pumped. They're, we had our banquet um, at the, uh, on Monday after the uh, tournament final um, and they're so excited. It's been, a, it's been an awesome season and uh, they just can't wait to get going on Saturday. Alright coach, well congratulations. We wish you the best of luck Saturday. Thank you, appreciate it.